Alistair will do anything to remove this curse on his arms. Even the fact that he's going to chop his own arm while trying to attempt this. This guy is just nuts. <laughs> he does that and just like, oh, by the way, oh, I guess it didn't work. Oh, half my arm is dangling off. Oh, what a slightly situation that we got. So it's great. It's great to see that we had a front cover for like a uh, black clover after all this time. Like it's been a bit and all that and nice real ass color pages while well, celebrating Halloween. I definitely did enjoy that as well. I think they're definitely trying to push black clover to maybe the rose a little bit much, but like even still, like I think it's a really nice color page that like, we got to see, you know, with like the entire gang of the black bulls like showing off their stuff. Alongside we definitely gotta see it like immediately with this beautiful, gorgeous color page about this like free sided kind of war that we got because I honestly don't I think honestly that the whole thing with the Diamond Kingdom and the White Eye Knights, that, that they're really going to continue for this long. Like, I don't think they're going to have the truth, and I think it's all going to crumble to us, especially once we see like Mars and Fana like reunite in some way. And clearly the fact that like Fana's not the same person that she was, like she clearly wasn't. And like Mars, I think is going to like not react too well to that. And the fact that the witch, like like Queen, is like reacting to this is like, oh, that's kind of concerning. We've got to deal with those guys and this side of the wall, and you got these guys alongside with it as well. It's like, yeah, you know, what on earth is going to go around with this shit? You know, that is concerning. One thing that was interesting, I guess it adds more into the actual, like, uh, light novel thing as well, is that the fact that the guy with the, uh, like, a stubble as well, like, the one guy that's from, the, like, the actual light novel, he knows about Mars. So I was like, okay, so maybe did they encounter Mars in the light novel, or did the fact that he just happens to know him, did he encounter him sometime in, like, the whole future? And the fact that we finally got to see what Fire can really do is that she's using this imperfect salamander that just completely annihilated like a part of the forest and like even the queen was just like the imperfect salamander this rare such like spirit and all that was able to do this and thinking like that's imperfect what the hell does a dragon do in this universe like what does like at a higher being at this point can do that and it's just like it's stronger than the fortunes told so she already knew uh, what this was going to happen the fact that she was like we gotta build up stuff, we, you know, we gotta, like, you need to do some stuff here. And the fact that, like, when Vanessa woke up, she's like, what the hell are generally any of you guys doing here? Like, that, like oh, there's some weird uh, faces I haven't seen in a while. And the fact is, like, no, I was gonna get your arms healed, and I was gonna stay here. That was the exchange. And, like, Ass is like, no, we haven't tried every, like, method left on this thing. It's like, you know, we've got some ideas, and it's just like, why on earth are you coming here? You know full well I want to accept that. And he's like, you know what? I've got a method left. He grabs his sword and his sharpest one at that and he's like, what the hell are you doing? And Asta grabs his own arm like that at that point and gets the sword on his arm, cutting it. Like completely like, slicing right up to the bone. And I'm like, this guy is insane. Like he's like he's like screaming like ah oh, that's the oh that hurts. Ah oh. <laughs> like it's just going, it's like you can't break the curse, Aster. You try like like I generally thought like he would have tried something at that point where it's like wouldn't you try like slicing it on your hand, see if it did anything? But the fact that he wasn't thinking about it, it just slammed it into the bone because his bone is just nothing but dust and I was like, oh my god, that must have fucking hurt like hell. Like that. It's just like I don't care and all that. It's just like I'm gonna lose someone just so I can have my arms here. Like hell I'll listen to any of that crap. I'll fight with my arms until like I kick like the fate that like it's ass that gave me this shit. And it's just like one more time. Give me one more and you can see the arm just like dangling. I'm like, oh no, that's that's a bit much and it's just like that's it. You can rely on people. It's okay. But d Jesus Christ and all that. I was simply going to use like the queen to heal your arms. And then I was going to get use your anti-magic to get the hell out of here. And then she's like, oh, shit. <laughs> she tells this right in front of the chick. And it's like, look, look. And like, even like our wall of her and all that is silver that has to like um, bring everything out. It's like, listen here. Like, you know, with everything with Vanessa and all of them. And it's like, you know, look. When, we're, when he moves, we'll move as well. We'll help you guys out. Back, like, back to the Marius, like, you know, you need us, we're extra fighting forces, and we can protect your forest, work with us, you heal Asta's arms and all that, that's extra fighting force, we'll do this, and then she's just like, <laughs> fine, but the thing is, I'm gonna make his, that kid's arms, I, like, I'll heal them, and I'll make them stronger, and the fact that she just did it with, like, no, like, you know, like, with no heart, like, problems at all, she just did it, alright, here you go, like, like look at us healing magic, and it's a curse-breaking cocoon, and you see his arms, you I personally kind of would have liked it if Asta's arms were a little bit like, you know, like it would t maybe it took a while for him to come back so you get to see like everyone else having their time to shine like throughout the entire world. But he's like, oh, they're, oh, they're completely healed. Like they're all great. And he just cut. I do like the one panel where he's got both of the swords. He's got like 
both his like nor like his giant blade and his sword in the back like that. And he's like, yeah, let's go. But I'm ready. Let's roll out on this wall. So I did like the, like in the way it's like yeah, he's slightly healed. That like we did have to wait a few chapters, but I think it would have been nicer. It's like yeah, even though well, like a curse at this level, the fact is that I'm gonna still need some time. I'm gonna need at least like five minutes to go and heal. I mean, even ten of that, and maybe that'd be like two, three chapters where it's like. Asses out commission for a while and it focused on other characters, but personally, that's just a personal opinion. But I generally think I did like a lot about this chapter. I definitely like the front color, color pages. I love the Halloween like thing that is absolutely adorable. Like, I, I definitely love that with like Vanessa, like all Silver, and all the characters. It's really dumb and goofy as hell, and I enjoyed it. And the fact that it's like we finally got asked to heal after all this time, but just the determination on this kid that that, that he's like willing to like cut off his own arms and slice through like near the balloon, and it's just like. This kid will do it. He'd rather do that than have Vanessa fucking abandon his side. And, like, even when Vanessa was thinking about that, that really reminded her of, like, Yami. And I was like, that's some good damn, good, like, great stuff there. And I generally enjoyed it. It was, like, such a, like, uh, real enjoyable moment for Aster. And the fact that we're focusing on Vanessa. And, I, like, I really do like Vanessa a lot. And it shows, like, you know, like, the fact of how Vanessa was going to act. It was like, you really think I was going to keep to this deal with her? No, I was going to bounce. So it's like, screw that. I, I, I did this because this was my only option. I knew it was, like, the best option you had. But fuck that. I was going to bounce anyway, Aster. You know that. I would have used your shit to the advantage. Like, she may be strong as hell, but the fact is, like, you know, she I, she can't go against an anti-magic sword, and clearly she has some plans to ask her where it's like, no, I want to, like, steal those swords. And maybe the fact that she's actually going to plant something alongside with this curse-breaking cocoon, she's going to do something else. Maybe in that cocoon she planted something and asked her, so she won't, like, disobey it or anything like that. So I'm really wondering, it's like, did this chick do anything else to ask her? And we'll have to wait next week with the next cover page alongside with the colors and more and all that, the Black Clover. Definitely enjoyed the chapter. Had a nice little bit of comedy. Had some emotional moments with Asta. And the fact that, you know, he, a lot of people do want to see him back in action and see him in full power. And the fact that he's now going to be stronger than ever, that makes me curious, like, where Asta is now going to be, like, in his power, like, where he's going to be going against these white eyed knights alongside with the Diamond Kingdom. But let me know you guys in the comment section down below. Overall and all that, I definitely did enjoy this chapter a lot. I think this is a goddamn good chapter with some emotional moments in it, too. So, so a seven and a half to, like, a solid eight and all that, I definitely gave this chapter. So let me know you guys in the comment section down below. That's all for me. I'll see you guys. So next time.